Rise from your grave. Hey Quakers, welcome back to another episode of The Quake Grave. We're back! We're back with more Quake after a crazy week of E3. For those of you who haven't been to the channel in a couple weeks to watch Quake, uh, yeah, I haven't done any Quake videos because I was busy doing E3 videos. There's one in there for Doom 4 that a lot of you might be interested in checking it out, so go and check it out. But for today, we're playing Call a Plumber by Euro Gearloose. Euro's been on the show a couple times. Uh, one of the maps was Torture, which is a, a really good one that you should go check out if you haven't already. Uh, this was released on November 14th of 1996, so let's jump in and see if we really have to call that plumber. So here we are, in Call a Plumber. And we are immediately greeted by a putty guy. As everybody knows, one of my... Favorite characters to have to deal with Quake, especially <laughs> right off the bat. We're going to hit this button and see what happens. We got lava immediately down there. Uh, first impressions. I, I like the lighted first room, but it is dark, and it already feels pretty cramped. I'm not sure what's going on with this button either, but let's head this away. Okay, nothing. Lots of health, so I guess I'll... Run back and grab the health that's sitting here from the putty. So we got ourselves a double barrel shotgun. We got some armor. According to this, we need a gold key already. So what do we got to run through? Gotta run through some lava, it looks like. I'd really rather not. So one of the things I failed to mention when I was starting the intro for this is that Euro put in some uh, unique models. And that is apparently a door for a silver key. Alright. Wish I knew what these buttons did. But you got the Snake Man, and I guess there's going to be some spiders later as well. I go behind you. Oh, there was a spider. Okay, it is dark. I can't see. Oh my god. Ah! That was very clever. Little unfair. Because <laughs> I had no health to begin with there. Oh, and they shoot too. And I am out of everything. Oh my god, there are spiders everywhere. You need to die. Okay, you are dead. What did that open? This is all I got left. I gotta take you out. At least they, they seem very weak. And there's a few of them still waiting for me right there. I'm going to ignore them. And I'm just going to take the elevator right back up here. Wow, that was, that was incredible what he did right there. That was really cool. And we got more spiders waiting for us. Or at least one. And he is done. But yes, as I, as I was saying, that was that was pretty incredible what he did right there. That was really cool, uh, the, the spider trap that he did. He had this like crazy spider thing. I'm almost afraid to go in there in case it'll push me down again. <laughs> but you got this crazy spider thing that pushes you down there, and you're like, how how do I get away from this? How do I get away? And then it pushes you into a pit with more spiders. It's pretty clever. It's true. I see no, no doorknob. So how do I get in there? We got... Four secrets. Hmm. No idea how to get... I can see the rocket launcher sitting right there. And I can hear Scrags or something. There's something waiting for us. But regardless, now we have the silver key. So, I suppose we ought to jump through the silver key door. Maybe the... Oh, that did some... That actually covered the lava up for once. Did that happen because of the button? Are these like toggle things? Like what's... I'm not quite understanding the, the lava thing. It's like you hit it, but it takes a while for it to actually work. Okay, now it's working right off the bat. I don't know. Anyway. We're going to continue on with the silver key here. Another very dark area. And it looks like I can see some scrags over there. Oh, screw you, dude. I need every 
every ounce of health I can get here. And ammo for that matter. It is hard to walk around in here with all the bumps and everything. Is that where we came in? Who saw me? There you are. I can hear him. But I could not see him. Alright, let's go in the water, see what we can find. We got some shells, always useful. Down we go. Fish, of course! Biosuit. Barry has lowered. Oh, great. I do not have anything to explode these guys with. Unfortunately. <laughs> we got them. Now we gotta get away from these zombies. We'll grab the suit again. Man. There's another key right there waiting for us. And we need the silver key. That way I don't have to deal with you guys when I come back. Alright, I have nothing explosive, but at least we know that there's a different way to go there. And uh, I, guess, I guess we want to go this way, or is this where we came from? It might be where we came from. That's where we went. Cruise up this way. Here we go. Okay, down there is where we were. Oh, great. That's where my explosive stuff was. That's what I needed. Do we take the windy road? Lots of, lots of hmms and, you know... Oh, and it pushed me. I tried to walk, I tried to walk by it and that little opening there pushed me right off of it. Hmm. I wonder. These secret areas are starting to bug me. I don't. I don't see any easy way to actually get over to them. Oh, I can't take a breath there yet. There we go. I am deathly low on health here. I'm almost thinking about running back to the beginning. Oh, I don't think I can. I was gonna say I'll run back to the be beginning and get that all that health that's waiting for me, but I can't. I cannot go up that way. I hear somebody very angry on the other side of the wall. And I don't see... Hmm, no switch or anything like that, but... Anyway, let's let's press on here. Oh, of course. Why not in the cramp section, right? Oh, we can go in here, though. Oh, crap. I need health. Bad. Down to six here. Grab that. The gate has been lifted. What does this do? The barrier has been lowered. How do I... Okay, so that's the opening over there to that. So if I get in there, I can get the rockets and the mega health. So that is something I really need to figure out. Because I would very much like that right now. That would help me out immensely. There's another... Oh, this is where the spider pit is. Interesting. Okay. So it's all somewhat connected. What are we looking like here? Zero out of the four secrets, 22 out of 37 enemies. No! Oh, not, not what I meant to do. That's annoying. Every time you try to figure this out, it's going to push you off there back into the water. That's a little annoying. Because, hey, man, all we're trying to do is figure out the secret, you know? We're all in this together trying to figure out some secrets. We definitely can't climb this. It just says, hmm. And if we try to go around the other way, we can't. We definitely can't jump that, yeah. I don't know. At least that time I, uh, it kept me on this thing. Last time, every other time it's pushed me into the water. That's pretty annoying. So is there something to shoot over here? I, I'm not seeing any kind of a, a button. And regardless, it would be hard to see anyway because it's, it's pretty dank and dark down here. 
Can't see a thing. Is there a button I'm supposed to hit in here somewhere first? Oh, getting caught on the geometry here. That's where the water stuff is. I don't know. Huh. I guess I'm going to have to try to press on with six, <laughs> six health. This is going to be very dangerous, but... Yeah, I don't like that it says, hmm, but it doesn't give us any kind of a clue as to what we're supposed to do to get past this. Not a thing. Alright, moving on. We can't sit here for too long. Like I said, we really like the rockets. We love the Mega Health. Mega Health would be amazing right now, but... Doesn't look like it's in the cards. Oh, great! The fish immediately tries to get me. And something at the top of this is gonna... Yep, there they are. Oh, luckily they can't get to me. We got some health waiting for me. I like this little area. This room is cool. I like, I like the, the water effect and everything like that. We got a little bit of health, so we're back in this. Got some armor. Oh, great. Okay, you're done. Where are we at? 26 out of 37. We're, we're getting close here. Is there anywhere else to go but down? I don't really rather not lose health if I don't have to. Come on, swim through that. <laughs> you can fit. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else up here. Okay, I guess we fall back down into some water. Oh, and we got a ton of fish coming after us. And they are down. This secret with the mega health and everything is going to absolutely kill me. It's going to fry my brain. I really wish I could figure out how to get to that. Alright, so it unleashed some new fish. Okay, I was going to say, things have got to... Things have had to have changed since... Oh, great. We are cornered by a few enemies. Oh my god, hit the scrag. You're totally missing them. Jesus. Things are not going well here. I just had a decent amount of health, and it just crawled right down. And the zombies are back. Which is always great. You're done. And go back to the regular shotgun here so it as to avoid splash damage. No, you you have gotta die, dude. Yes, there we go. But the bars are still there. I thought we were gonna be able to come back here and we could actually get to the mega health. Ah It's a bit frustrating. I gotta say. And yeah, considering ammo is pretty scarce. Hmm. Okay. We'll press on. Okay, as we press on. I knew you were gonna be there. Stay away from me with that. Okay. Oh god. I don't think he can actually hit me from here. Oh, and I'm out of everything. Oh god, this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna suck really bad. How do I get down there and kill? Oh, there's nothing, nothing I could do. There's nothing you could do to get by that guy if you're completely missing health. That sucks. All right, let's uh, let's go around again here. All right, I am back in this room here. I am I am all but determined. Super determined to find a way to that secret room. I need it. I absolutely need it to pass this level. There's got to be something around here that's going to lower those bars, right? Oh, not there. Okay, not not at all what I was trying to do. Come on, guys. Even if I had just a little bit of health, I feel like I'd be able to to get by that snake dude. But that that dude, uh, he fires pretty rapidly. 
feel like there's not really an easy way to pass him. What I'm trying to do is jump up on this doorway thing. Does this have anything to do with that secret area? Or am I just stuck? <laughs> Slowly moving out of here. Stuck on geometry. Is this part of the secret? No. Okay. But there's nothing up there. And if I go too close to that, it's just going to bump me off. How about a clue? Any sort of clue at all. Unless there's one in here that I just am, I am not seeing. Anything to do with that torch? Nothing. It's almost like you need to grenade launch over, but I, I don't have enough health for that kind of thing, man. I can't do it. What over here? Any kind of a elevator? Hidden elevator? Doesn't look to be. Yeah, because with the amount of health I have, I really, I really don't know if this is something I'm going to be able to finish. Ah, gotta get away from him. Completely forgot that there was going to be an ogre in there. If I could only go back up and grab the health from the beginning of the level, that would, that would super help. I know you're waiting for me up here. Okay, we're down to seven. And this guy's going to see me in two seconds. But I don't care. Okay, he took exactly seven hits from the shotgun, and I'm somehow still alive. I don't know how, but I am. I'm a bit afraid to go down into the pit because of the spiders, but let's see what happens. Oh, shit. There they are. Back through here. Right. Up we go. There's going to be a spawn monster or something that's going to take us out. Nope, not yet. Okay, we got to close this. Right. There it is. Okay, no enemies yet. No enemies yet. Grab health. There we go. Got it. Look at that. Way, <laughs> way back up. I don't know how we managed to survive that, but we did. Oh, I knew something was going to be behind that. But forget it. And look at that. There's a room with a devil poster, a quad, and a lightning gun. Where, where the hell was that? My god. Well, there you go, guys. That is Call a Plumber. Um, I think it's I think it's decent. I think it's a uh, yeah. I think it's decently made. It's about what I can say for it. I think it's a it's a little claustrophobic, a little cramped. I'm not really sure how to feel about the the secret stuff. Like, I love when maps have secrets, and I already know that I'm crap at finding them. But when you have secrets in plain sight, and it's I don't know. It's there's no clues, there's nothing around that seems to be, you know, uh, uh, p particularly different to kind of clue you into what you're supposed to do to open these secrets. I don't know, it just kind of gets to me a little bit, but who knows, everybody watching this, you might, <laughs> might see this and go, you idiot, you're supposed to shoot this or hit that. So it could just be me. Uh, as far as the level goes, I, I, think it's, I think it's really well paced. I think it's just challenging enough for you to uh, really get your kicks with, if, especially if you're not finding secrets. It looks as though, if you find the secrets, there's a rocket launcher. It looks as though there was a lightning gun with a quad. If you were able to find these secrets, it would have made the level, like, hella easy for you to finish. However, the way I did it, not finding any secrets, it's uh, it's definitely a good challenge. I mean, you, you saw how down the wire it came to with, uh, with ammo and whatnot, so... Stuff, uh... Yeah, stuff stuff was a bit jaunty <laughs> at the end, but it, it was fun nonetheless. So yeah, this, this might be one you want to check out. Until next time, Quakers.